What is going on guys, Marco here from BitGuitar.com Today I'm going to show you how to play this uh, song, which is obviously the Godfather um, soundtrack It's a really nice thing to play Now I already did the video where I show you the simple melody, you know, just like melody and bass note Just for beginners, okay? So if this is the first video you're watching and you wanna learn the melody Just go and check out the previous video and learn the melody, okay? On this video, I'm gonna show you how you can spice up the um, melody with, you know, few chords. And so, we're gonna go quite quickly as I am assuming you already know the melody, okay? So, uh, so totally up to you. Check the first video if you wanna learn the melody or if you already learned it, uh, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you exactly what I was playing. Now guys, you can support me on Patreon, okay? So if you wanna become part of the family and we can, you know, like, make this channel probably the best finger style channel um, on YouTube, definitely make sure that you support me and you can have access to um, different lessons, some of my courses as well, you can request songs, um, so make sure that you check it out and thank you very much for all your feedback and comments, okay? Enjoy this lesson, let's have a close up and let me show you how to play this thing. Now guys, as I was saying, uh, we're gonna go quite quickly on that, so I'm not going to show you the melody again. If you wanna learn the melody, please go on the previous video and learn the melody, okay? Now we are in standard tuning and I'm not using a capo. The first chord we are going to add is gonna be here. Okay. So we basically have three chords. One is an A minor chord, one is a D minor chord, and one is a A minor chord position one, okay? How does it work? You start with the melody, and then when you play the fret seven, you wanna add, rather than just play the fret seven, you will add a bar chord on the fret five, and you wanna play the fifth, the third string fret five, the second string fret five, and the first string fret seven. Now the way I'm playing there, to give a little bit more of a expression to this chord, um, I'm not going to pluck that simultaneously, I'm just going to quickly roll from thumb, thumb, index, middle, the ring, I'm doing that really quickly, okay, and then I'll carry on with the melody, so... Now, as you can see, while I'm playing the melody, I'm actually holding down the chords. And so it's really important the over ringing uh, will make these things sound really nice. Okay, so first chord, and then I will have, that's another chord. And we're gonna have the fourth open string. We're gonna have the third string fret number seven, the second string fret number six, and the first string fret number seven. I'm plucking that simultaneously, this time you can either roll or you can pluck simultaneously. You don't want to use the rolling all the time, okay? So, and then I'll carry on with the melody, so. When I have this position, I'm gonna have the, uh, rather than just play the first string fret number one, I will play also the third string fret number two, simultaneously with thumb and ring. And I will finish with the name on a chord, okay? So before we just ended like that, but this time we're gonna put down the whole A minor chord and we're just gonna strum down that way. So that's the first part. Then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. That's different. So the first chord is exactly the same. But what after that, what, what happened after that, um, I'm gonna have this chord, which is going to be uh, pretty challenging, okay? I have the first string fret number seven, the second string fret number five, and the fifth string fret number three. It's quite a, quite of a stretchy chord. I'm plucking the fifth string, the second string, and the first string. If you struggle with this chord, okay, uh, you can play just the sixth string fret eight and the first string fret number seven. It sounds a little bit different, but it's 
not as stretchy as this one, okay? So there is an alternative to that, and it's sixth string fret eight, first string fret one, uh, seven. Okay, now once you play them, I'm gonna play, keep going with the melody. Fret five, second string fret five, four, and I have this D minor chord, which is the fourth open string, the third string fret number two, and the second string fret number three. Boom, easy. Okay, so the second time I'm gonna do it slowly, I will have. All right, so the whole thing together. Second time. Now what we have. And so on, so on. So what we have. Um, so before what we did, we just played the fourth open string and the first string fret seven, if you refer to the other video. But this time I'm gonna add a chord on that, which is exactly the same chord we play on the first uh, line, which is the fourth open string, the third string fret seven, the second string fret six, and the first string fret seven. Okay, now what I'll do after that, I'm playing this chord, which is not, this is actually not on the song, but I like it, so I'm just gonna add that. And what I'll do, I'll basically um, slide this position, you don't wanna move anything from here, okay? You wanna slide one, two, three frets back, okay? So you don't wanna change absolutely anything in this shape. You go from fret seven to fret four, okay? And you add the fourth string fret number three. So we're gonna end up adding fourth string fret three, third string fret four, second string fret three, and the first string fret four. It's just a passing chord and you can just strum it like that. So. That's it. And then we'll move on to the next part. And again, this is not on the song. You can just play that and pause here. So what am I playing? I will have the melody that you already know. I finish on the A minor, which is the fifth open string, the third string fret five, and the first string fret five. I pluck that simultaneously with thumb, index on the third, and ring on the first. Now, you can decide to pause here and wait, okay? Um, before you move on to the next position, or you can fill in the gap with this phrase, which is not like an easy one. I keep, as well, uh, messing that up, uh, which is uh, basically a simple, uh, sorry, it's not a simple arpeggio, uh, it's an arpeggio based on the fourth string fret number three, okay? So you want to hold down the chord as it is, and then you will have the fourth string fret number three, second open, and third string fret five, okay? And the fourth string again. So doing slowly, I will have fourth string, fret three, second open, third string, fret five, and fourth string again. And then to finish the phrase, I'm gonna stretch back and play the second fret on the fourth string. So, okay. It, adds a little bit of sadness, uh, but it's kind of okay. You don't have to, you can just pause on this one if you don't wanna challenge yourself too much, okay? And then we move on uh, to that. Now this is kind of the same as we did in the other video, so phrase, and then I have the uh, sixth open, 
with the first string fret number one, and I'm just adding the third string fret one. Plug that simultaneously. And then I have just the melody, so it's a very simple thing. And then I finish with the A minor. Okay, so... Now what am I playing? Just A minor chord and I have the um, fifth string and the third string simultaneously. Then the fourth, second, third, first, second, third, second. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time slowly. Fifth and third, fourth, second, third. First, second, third, second. And I finish on the A minor, which is the fifth open string, third string fret number five, and the first string fret five. This is the end of the first part, okay? So we can move on to the second part. Now the second part will start exactly where we left, which is here. So. It's much shorter than the first one and what we're gonna have you have uh, you just finished the A minor with 5 and 5 right now what we're gonna do we're gonna play the melody starting on that position and I have so I have 5 and 5 on 3rd and 1st twice and then I have 4 and 4 just one time okay it's exactly the same plucking and I will go to the G major. Okay, so basically the only thing that we adding on, the, on that is just the full chord of a G. So if this is too stretchy, just play with the second finger. Keep going with the melody. Now, sorry, when I play the G major, sixth string fret three, third open, second open, and the first string fret three. Then you carry on with the melody. And that's a really cool chord. It's another G major chord actually, and it sounds like that. So we're basically harmonizing this melody. What, what am I playing? I have the fourth string fret five, the third string fret seven, and the first string fret seven. I plug that simultaneously with the thumb on the fourth, the um, index on the third, and ring finger on the first. I have. Basically, plug the simultaneously, and then just the top two strings. So, then I will um, basically slide back to fret five, exactly the same position. So, and back to five, and then I will have two on the third string, fret two on the uh, third string, and fret one on the first. And I finish on the C major chord okay so awesome when I put together the whole thing I finish on the C fifth string fret five second string fret one and I plug simultaneously with five three two one Okay, then I'll carry on with the melody, which you already know. Now we make it simple here. Now if you want to play a chord here, you can play the 5th um, string fret 1, 3rd string fret 3, 2nd string fret 3. And then we uh, keep going with the melody. And E major. We finish with the simple E major chord, okay, before we start again. So, it's a B 
flat major chord, fifth string fret one, third string fret three, second string fret three. It's pretty stretchy, okay? And then, and then you start again. And so you can really just, you know, embellish the whole thing with few chords. Hopefully you're gonna like it guys. And remember, if you're struggling with that, go back to the first video and learn the melody with the bass note. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.